Good morning. Last class we have discussed about uh, carbon to nitrogen migration of uh, alkyl groups or aryl groups. Uh, the first example coming under this class that means carbon to uh, uh, nitrogen migration uh, that we have discussed, discussed uh, is uh, Hoffman rearrangement. And in this class, another example for carbon to nitrogen migration is uh, that means another rearrangement that is happening uh, carbon to uh, nitrogen migration is uh, uh, Curtius rearrangement. Curtius rearrangement. So here also in Curtius rearrangement also carbon to nitrogen migration is occurring. That means uh, alkyl groups or aryl groups is uh, migrated from carbon to nitrogen, carbon to nitrogen. In Curtius rearrangement, what is Curtius rearrangement? When acyl, 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 or acyl, acyl, you can write it as uh, acid, acyl, acid, acyl, acid, acyl is heated when acyl acyl or uh, acid acyl is heated is heated will undergo undergo a rearrangement will undergo a rearrangement to give isocyanate isocyanate Okay, the very simple rearrangement that is when acyl acyl or you can call it as acid acyl is heated will undergo, when you heat acyl acyl is heated, the acyl acyl will undergo a rearrangement uh, to give isocyanate, it will give isocyanate. Okay, look at the mechanism of uh, Curtius rearrangement, keep it in mind, what is Curtius rearrangement? Acyl acyl is heated, acyl acyl is heated, it will undergo a rearrangement or uh, it will decompose, acyl acyl will decompose and it will change into, what is that, uh, isocyanate. This rearrangement is known as Curtius rearrangement. So acyl acyl R C O N3. This is acyl acyl acid acyl is heated. Is when it is heated, you can see that uh, acyl acyl will decompose and it will eliminate, eliminate nitrogen molecule minus N2. So when it is heated, acyl acyl is heated. Acyl acyl is heated. It will decompose and it will eliminate uh, nitrogen molecule and it will change into R N. Double bond C, double bond O, isocyanate. Isocyanate. Okay, now look at the mechanism of this reaction. Uh, uh, look at here, R, C, double bond O, N3. What is the actual structure of uh, 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 acyl acid is uh, N, triple bond N, double bond N, double bond N. Uh, this is the actual structure of uh, acyl acid. R, C, double bond O, N3 is can be written as R, C, double bond O, N. Double bond N, double bond N. Now you can see that this nitrogen is having four bonds. Okay, this is uh, N plus and this one is N minus, N minus. Okay, or the, it can be resonized like, like this. You can see that uh, this one is, this uh, pair of electron is shifting to here. So what will happen? This pair of electron is moving to this nitrogen. Correct? R, C, O, N double bond N, double bond N. So this is positively charged and this nitrogen is negatively charged. Its down pair is used for making a bond to this nitrogen. So it is uh, uh, positively charged and this one is negatively charged. And in the next uh, resonance state, you can see that uh, this uh, pair of electron is shifted into here. That means here it will become a triple bond. Uh, simultaneously, this bond is moving to this nitrogen and you get R, C double bond O. And here it is En, since this pair of electron is moving to here, uh, it is a pair of electron, uh, uh, negative charge. And here you can see that uh, An, uh, here it is uh, triple bond N. Again, here this nitrogen is having positive charge, uh, it has a four bond, uh, uh, okay, positive charge. Up to here it is clear. This pair of electron is shifting to here, it will become triple bond. 
and uh, this pair of electron is uh, or uh, this bond is moving to this nitrogen it is getting a positive uh, negative charge and uh, this is the structure of uh, aside aside now in the next stage you can see that uh, now in the next stage you can see that uh, 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 that this type of uh, rearrangement we have discussed in uh, Hoffman rearrangement. Okay, same mechanism is uh, uh, operating here also. You can see that uh, this pair of electron, this pair of electron is uh, moving to here. Then what will happen? As we have discussed in the Hoffman reaction, uh, one of this uh, this pair of electron is uh, moving to oxygen. Clear? And we get okay. We get what we are getting R. Here it is R, then this will become O minus, and uh, here it will become double bond N, and here is no change N, triple bond N with the positive charge. Okay, this we have discussed uh, in Hoffman uh, rearrangement. Now, in the next step, uh, you might be uh, remembering that uh, what, is, what, is, what is happening in the next step. When this pair of electron, this pair of electron is moving, coming back, what will happen? Uh, this is a concerted mechanism, single step mechanism. Uh, the alkyl group uh, is breaking from this carbon and it is uh, migrating to nitrogen and what is eliminating here uh, N2 is uh, eliminated. Same mechanism as in the Hoffman rearrangement. When this pair of electron is, uh, this negative charge is coming back, okay, here it will become double bond. And at the same time, what is breaking this uh, uh, CR bond is breaking and the R is migrating from carbon to nitrogen. The uh, simultaneously N2 molecule, this uh, N2 molecule is eliminated. That means uh, minus N2 minus N2 nitrogen molecule is eliminated from here. This bond breaks and N2 is eliminated. And we are to you are getting yeah, this R is migrating to this nitrogen. So I am starting from R. Then it is coming to nitrogen. Yes, nitrogen. Then it has double bond. This double bond. Then C again. C is forming double bond. Okay, double bond. Okay, this is a concerted mechanism. The driving force uh, uh, is here is uh, by the elimination of nitrogen molecule. What is the driving force for this rearrangement? The elimination of this nitrogen molecule will create uh, an electron deficient nitrogen atom. Electron deficient nitrogen atom. So what will happen? The R group is migrating from carbon to nitrogen. This nitrogen will become electron deficient nitrogen. That is the driving force uh, for this rearrangement. When N2 is eliminated, this nitrogen will become an electron deficient uh, nitrogen therefore what will happen this uh, R group is migrating to nitrogen and we are getting isocyanate isocyanate clear this rearrangement is known as a courteous rearrangement courteous rearrangement when uh, acyl acid is heated acyl acid will undergo rearrangement or acyl acid will decompose uh, with the elimination of a nitrogen molecule and it will change into a, a isocyanate. This rearrangement is known as a Curtius rearrangement. Now look at here. Uh, this uh, isocyanate on hydrolysis. R, N, double bond C, double bond O, isocyanate. Isocyanate on hydrolysis. First one, hydrolysis. Okay, okay, the reaction with the H2O. Why the, this isocyanate is uh, important? Because uh, uh, for the preparation of, uh, we can see that uh, when it is uh, uh, on hydrolysis, it will change into a primary amide. It will change into a primary amide. Look at the reaction, same reaction uh, uh, as we are studying in the Hoffman rearrangement also. We have uh, discussed about the reaction between isocyanate and water molecule. Uh, similarly, here also the same thing. The lone pair is attacking on this carbon, correct? Then this pair of electron is moving to nitrogen and we get R, N minus and here it is uh, single bond C, O, H, O, H, H with a positive charge and double bond O, correct? Since the load pair is attacking, okay, O, H, uh, uh, O, H2 can be written as O, H and we O, H, is having a, a positive charge. For stability, what will happen? Uh, the, uh, uh, minus H plus, minus H plus. That H plus will be taken by negatively charged with nitrogen. So you can write minus H plus and plus H plus. So what is that? Uh, here uh, deprotonation is occurring here, deprotonation, and uh, here it is protonation, and we get uh, R, what is that? Uh, NH, NH, C, O, H, double bond O, double bond O. Correct? Now again, what is, what is happening in this type of compound, what type of rearrangement will occur? You can see that the OH bond, this bond is shifting to here. That means here again minus H plus, minus 
H plus and what will happen uh, when it is shifting to here this bond breaks okay this bond breaks from carbon and it is uh, moving to nitrogen that means uh, 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 nitrogen is getting a negative charge that means uh, the removed proton will be taken by this nitrogen and it will change it that means minus H plus and plus H plus minus H plus means uh, here it is a deprotonation uh, the bond is breaking from hydrogen and it is shifting to here so H plus is removed that H plus is taken by uh, the negatively charged this nitrogen because this bond is breaking and it is moving to nitrogen nitrogen is uh, being negative charged therefore this proton will be taken by this nitrogen and we get R NH2 uh, minus what will be eliminated CO2 so uh, this isocyanate is important. Isocyanate is important for the preparation of uh, uh, amine, primary amine. This is uh, uh, one use of uh, isocyanate. Second uh, thing, uh, why? Uh, because uh, we are using uh, Hoffman rearrangement for the preparation of isocyanate. We are using Cartier's rearrangement for the preparation of isocyanate. So, isocyanate is an important compound. Uh, why it is important? Because uh, first thing it is uh, useful for the preparation of a uh, primary amine. Second thing you can see that uh, when isocyanate R, N, double bond C, double bond O is treated with uh, alcohol, R dot O H, uh, uh, alcohol, what you will get? Uh, look at here, same reaction, same reaction, here it is lone pair of oxygen is attacking on this carbon, this bond is uh, moving to nitrogen, you can see that what you will get R, N minus and here it is uh, C, double bond O and here it is uh, O, H, OH and R is here, of course with the oxygen is getting a positive charge, don't there is attacking, OH and R dash, R dash, okay oxygen is, now you can see that again as we have discussed, for stability, the my, deprotonation minus H plus, this H plus is removed, okay, H plus is removed and that H plus is taken by N minus, so we are getting R minus H plus and plus H plus plus H plus plus H plus means uh, uh, and, uh, this removed proton is taken by this uh, N minus and we are getting R NH R NH uh, R NH C uh, what is that uh, C double bond O this C double bond O what is that is O R dash O R dash we get this compound R NH R NH C double bond O O R dash uh, that means uh, urethane we get uh, urethane so for the preparation of urethane, what is important? Isocyanate is important. For the preparation of primary amine, uh, isocyanate is important. Now uh, look at here, if you take R, N, isocyanate, R, uh, C, double bond, O, is treated with a primary amine, R, NH2, R, NH2, okay. This is first one, use of uh, isocyanate. This is second one, isocyanate is reacting with alcohol. We get uh, urethane. And in the third case, uh, uh, isocyanate is uh, reacting with the primary amide, RNH2. What you will get? Again, the mechanism is same only. Okay, this pair of ele electron is attacking on this carbon. Uh, this bond is moving to nitrogen. And we can see that uh, R, what you will get? R, N minus, uh, single bond uh, C, double bond O. Here it is. Uh, here you can see that NH2 can be written as uh, NH, uh, H and uh, of course there is uh, R dash is here, okay, R dash NH2 you can write like that and then it's getting a positive charge, okay, because it's done by uh, using and it's getting a positive charge, uh, um, uh, okay, uh, oh, oh, oh. and in the next stage you can see that as we have discussed, uh, minus H plus, minus H plus, this uh, H plus is removed, okay, H minus H plus, and this is H plus is taken by this N minus, so we get R, N, H, minus H plus, comma, plus H plus, plus H plus, plus H plus, uh, 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 minus H plus, and uh, plus H plus, R, N, H, C, double bond O, C, double bond O, then what is that? Uh, N, H, N, H, R dash, N, H, R dash. Uh, so this is uh, substituted urea, substituted, substituted, substituted urea. What is urea? N, uh, NH2, CO, NH2. So this is uh, 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 NH2, CO, NH2 is urea. This is R, NH, CO, NH, R dash. 
this is substituted urea so for the preparation of a primary amine or urethane or substituted urea isocyanate is important therefore uh, the rearrangement like uh, hoffman rearrangement or cartier's rearrangement is also important so uh, that's all about uh, cartier's rearrangement in a very simple way we can say that what is cartier's rearrangement acid aside is heated when acid aside or acyl aside is heated it will undergo decomposition with the elimination of uh, nitrogen molecule and it will change into isocyanate this rearrangement is known as cartier's rearrangement and uh, thank you